that's what it amounts to, isn't it? <laughs> There's the lineup for what is a very, very strong second race in the women's 100 meter hurdles. Won't call it the A race or the B race, they're calling it the A race, but it's not. 12.66 the target, and then the winning time of Rollins in that first race. Yes, Sharika Nelvis, who finished only third in the US Championships final. Maybe the nerves got to her. Although, if you do have a bad race, and it is in the US final, and you still manage to finish third, well, it's a measure of just how good you are. Well, that's uh, an interesting inclusion there. Look, he has a shot. He's going to run again. Oof, she's running in the A race after being impeded in the uh, so-called B race. Sarita Solomon of Great Britain, fourth in the UK Championship, behind the Afidi sisters. There's Lolo Jones, didn't finish the US final, has rather been the tail of her career with that 2008 Olympic final. Remember that, she was supposed to win that. However, with the gold medal virtually within her grasp, she almost fell over. Queen Harrison, fourth in the US Championships. So many uh, tales of woe and hard luck stories can be told by athletes after US Championships. That was another one for Queen Harrison. Sharika Nelvis, the world leader, 12.34, the fastest time in the world this year. Set in the first round heats in Eugene, Oregon in those US Championships with a healthy wind, but a legal wind at her tail. Naomi Zvaden of Switzerland, 12.71 this year. Christina Manning of the United States goes in lane seven. And uh, it will be Vashti Thomas of uh, Panama is in lane eight. And uh, Lolo Jones, if you're not a close follower of track and field, you may not be aware that she's not only a summer Olympian, but also a winter Olympian at the bobsled, which uh, I suppose, Tim, puts her in the same bracket as you remember old Willie Davenport, Olympic gold in the 110 hurdles in Mexico City in 1968. Well, he became a Winter Olympian, although it took him another 12 years at the age of 37. The late Willie Davenport, and he finished 12th in the uh, four-man bob. And in so many respects, Lolo Jones managing to, uh, to match that. So, lanes to watch. Jones in three, Harrison in four, Nelvis in lane five. The winner likely to come from those three. The followers of British track and field will be uh, certainly keeping a close eye on the athlete in lane two, Sarita Solomon. Solomon ran a lifetime best in Birmingham, not at the U UK Championships, but at the Diamond League meeting at the start of June, 12.87. Now that puts a half a second behind Nelvis, so effectively four metres. Nelvis, the last to settle. <laughs> Nelvis wearing blue. Rather deliberate coming out of the block set. She's got a bit of ground to make up here. Queen Harrison has the lead, but Nelvis is getting after, and also Lolo Jones. But it's Queen Harrison. Harrison followed by Nelvis. Good run from Queen Harrison. Nelvis struggling for the form, which has made her the world number one and dominant throughout May until the end of June. But here, I just thought things weren't quite right out of the blocks for Sharika Nelvis. Queen Harrison led to the first, and she didn't hand over the lead at any point. Well, let's take a look at that once again, Martin. The uh, time there that came up in initially 12.64. Rollins won, remember, in 12.66. If that time is confirmed, Nelvis is given the win. No, she got a dreadful start there, didn't she? It Nelvis. was almost as if, Tim, she caught the toe of her spike, I think, on the track and yeah. she bring it through. Queen Harrison, 12.64, stays that half metre clear, never gives Nelvis a chance to get back at her. Lolo Jones in third there, but, uh, well, a couple of meet metres down. If the winning time, 12.64, I'd have thought Lolo at the best there in the pink to the right has run 12.85, something like that. 
No, probably slower. Not quite the athlete yet that she was when she took two consecutive world indoor titles, uh, Lolo Jones. And clashes that uh, final barrier pretty hard to Sharika Nelvis. Just didn't look like she'd got the snap, did she? That uh, she had earlier in the season to come back and take that one. When you think that Nelvis run 12.34, one of the quickest athletes in history. Queen Harrison making the most of it. Yes, so she has the choice of the diamond worth loosely 1700 euros or as it says there in the uh, bit of paper lesser cash prize offered if diamond not accepted